Hey folks, it's Tom with Frugal Prepper. I want to talk a little bit about um, insecticides and what I use. Um, yeah, I was watching this video. Uh, somebody had posted on the Midler Gardening Forum a link to it, and I had started to watch it before, and um, I never finished it, and I went ahead and finished it. And I, 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 it's not necessarily a bad idea, but the Growing Your Greens guy, um, you know, he has great gardens. He does entirely too much work. He's a gardener. I'm a food grower, right? I, I don't want to garden. I want to get results and have food. And I found that the Midlighter method is a really good fit for that. Um, if you really, really enjoy doing a lot of work in your garden all the time and you don't have other stuff that you need to be doing, I think the way he does it's great. Um, but I really want to push my plants and get the most out of them I can. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about insecticides. Now, I like to use as narrow of a pesticide or insecticide as I can. By that I mean I would like to kill only the bug I'm after. I like to try to clearly identify which, which exact pest I'm looking at and, and kill just that one. Because there are beneficial insects that I want to keep in my garden. Uh, ladybugs, praying mantises, for instance. I want those to bugs around my garden because they eat bad bugs. Um, I don't want to put anything that's non-organic or not or poisonous or you know made by Monsanto on my food. <laughs> you know, but more so than that, you know, he was saying that uh, he was using an insecticidal soap and um, like an organic soap and a uh, and neem oil, which is okay. Uh, neem oil is actually good for you. You can you can take it orally. You can put it on wounds, um, but and it does kill uh, insects in the garden. The problem is, is it kills a lot of insects. And when he started going through the list, like it kills this, it kills that, it kills this, it kills that. I'm like, well, there go your ladybugs, right? If you had any. And more importantly, your ladybug larvae. Because if you actually get some ladybugs to think there's enough food around, enough aphids around to eat that they decide to lay eggs, you're going to have a nice population the following year. I want to build up a nice uh, recurring inventory of beneficial bugs around my yard. I don't want to kill those bugs. Um, so I try to treat just the plant that has the problem and um, with just what... I need and my, my probably my three things I use the most are going to be uh, BT which is uh, Bacillus thrillius or something like that I, I don't know but I have to look up the the letters um, maybe it says on the active ingredients uh, Bacillus thuringiensis something else I don't know but it's a bacteria it's deadly to worms and caterpillars and uh, gypsy moths. So this is going to kill tomato hornworms, uh, tent caterpillars, it's going to kill cabbage looper, um, it's going to kill gypsy moths, um, and, and then some others. Um, this goes, uh, my tomatoes, I will give a dose of this every once in a while, even if I don't see a problem as a preventative measure against the hornworms. Um, and then I will spray things like my kale or cabbage weekly because cabbage looper is very very prevalent in my backyard um, and when the, the worm or caterpillar eats this it might not appear like it kills them right away but they do stop eating it basically gives them a sore tummy um, and I found since I started using mitt lighter uh, pests like my garden much better now um, and they will come eat it up. Um, this is uh, sulfur dust. It's lily mill sulfur dust. It's also another thing that will last you forever. It's just sulfur. Um, I don't think it's really... I mean, sulfur is not poisonous. Um, I don't think you'd want to just eat it or something. Um, but this gets rid of mites. But the main thing I use it for... I'm doing a video, Wesley. You need to be quiet. Is powdery mildew. Um, so I apply this about every two weeks. Um, it, I mix some of this and some soap 
and I spray that on any of my squash, uh, cantaloupe, cucumber, watermelon, any of those type of, of uh, plants that are vines. Um, I have problems with powdery mildew. Powdery mildew lives in the surface. Uh, the reason I put a little bit of this soap in here is as an insecticidal soap. It eliminates the squash bugs. Um, again, squash bugs aren't something I normally have. I have had them. Um, but just a few drops of this doesn't really hurt too much else. It doesn't hurt the plants. And, and I, you just spray that on there with it as well. And I'll put a link down below for how I learned how to make this mixture from LDS Prepper. And I found that it just works excellent. Now what I will say is once the powdery mildew is established, it, you're not going to stop it with this. Um, you might help control it or slow it down. Um, but if you have it established, you need to remove the lower leaves that are infected as soon as possible. You need to get those in a bag away from your garden. Don't touch the other leaves till you wash your hands. Um, and then apply this to the healthy leaves. Apply this to the whole stem, the whole vine. And you need to apply this around the ground. Because those spores for powdery mildew live in the soil. They live in the ground. And um, they, they survive the winter. They come back year after year. But if you, like I do, spray this every couple weeks because I have those problems. You know, every squash plant that I plant without this will die from powdery mildew before the growing season has ended. I'll still get a pretty good harvest off of it, but it will die. And I'll keep going up the plant until it finally grows the growing tip. And then you've harvested your last fruit. It won't set any more fruit once the growing tip's dead. Um... So I like to use things that are as specific as possible to the bug or pest I'm trying to kill. Uh, I'll put a link down below, but most of you have probably seen my slug uh, video where I build my slug traps out of beer. Um, I like to try to target the specific pests. I'm trying to decide on my lima beans. They got attacked. It looks like it might have been Mexican bean beetle um, from the way the holes are in the leaves. If that's the case... Um, I will go ahead and I, I had to. I went ahead and treated them today with BT in case it is some type of a caterpillar eating them. I put the slug traps out. I did not catch any slugs, so I'm not sure that it's slugs. I went ahead and reset them all today. Um, so I sprayed this in case it is some type of worm or caterpillar. And then once this is dried, probably sometime tomorrow, I will go ahead and treat with the insecticidal soap. And I'll probably just use the same mixture I use on the other stuff because the sulfur dust won't hurt. Um, which should cover some other types of insects. And it wouldn't be good for the beetles. I don't know that it would kill them. Um, and I will probably get some bird food or some corn and put in a bowl in the garden. Because birds love to eat Mexican bean beetles. And my garden's young enough that they're not going to eat anything else out of my garden right now. So birds are very beneficial in the early time of your garden um, and then if all else fails I'll use something more broad spectrum which would be neem oil um, or diatomaceous earth I like to stay away from those broad spectrum pesticides even though they're organic and safe um, because they kill all bugs and I don't want to kill my ladybugs my praying mantises my beneficial insects I want them to stay have babies become established in my yard and uh, be there all the time. So that's just a little bit about the different pesticides I use and why I use them and what I do. So hopefully that clears up some of the confusion about some of the stuff that I do when I'm, when I'm making comments on the videos. Thanks everybody. This is Tom, your frugal prepper. Everybody be happy and frugal out there. Your pants are on backwards. Your pants are on backwards. There's strings hanging out the back. Dogs? Alright, say hi to everybody, Wesley. What are you doing? What kind of shirt is that? I says Morning Luigi. It says Team Awesome. Uh -huh. Alright. Madeline? We need some hamburgers. 
I might run up and get some hamburgers. You want to make some hamburgers? Mm. On a little grill? Watch this! <laughs> wow. It's, it's, it doesn't kill other bugs that might be beneficial. And it's organic and that bacteria is harmless to mammals and, and other insects. Oh, come on. Yeah. Dog. 